Hello, Dungeon Master. How many NPCs have you created? It's a lot, isn't it? This could be from main characters to random people your players meet never to be seen again. You might have a few that make reoccurring appearances just because it's so much easier doing Jeff the third grunt on the right than coming up with an individual NPC each time because you know your players are going to want to speak to them. Well, in this video, we create NPCs for you so that you can take them and put them into your own game. That way you can focus your attention on the story. So in this video, we will be focusing on NPCs in a tavern. We have an accompanying video where we have created a tavern map for you. In that video, that even has encounters that you can use for your own players. Then simply take these NPCs, put them in, bam! It's a whole present wrapped up in a bow for you. All your players need to do is walk in the door. So let's introduce you to the staff at The Swinging Fluffy. NPC number one, Ishmael. Ishmael is the tavern owner and a very handsome human. He is tall, elegant, and very much a gentleman. His long black hair is tied off of his face and his piercing brown eyes see more than they let on. There are many secrets that happen in town and you can bet he knows an awful lot of them, though he will never say. Ishmael speaks in a soft yet firm manner. He is well educated and holds conversations with the best of them. His calming tones can put everyone at ease, but he can project his voice when the time needs for it. He is always dressed to perfection, so whilst not flaunting wealth, he can often be easily associated with high nobles. Maybe that's why he has quite a lot of acquaintances in town. There is something enigmatic about him. People vie for his attention. It doesn't matter their status, they all seem to require his approval. A showman in his own home and a very good memory for a face and a name. Ishmael has owned the Swinging Fluffy for many years now. Prior to Ishmael, it was run down, dilapidated, fights breaking out and a really rough tavern. He slowly changed the tavern's reputation, bringing in security to make sure trouble didn't appear. He clearly has a no-nonsense to any fights inside the tavern. Ishmael often travels, but he always knows what's going on inside the Swinging Fluffy. And it seems he manages to appear when he's most needed. There's a lot of mystery about him. Is he a magic user? Does he have his own teleportation circle out the back? All these rumours are never squashed. It's like he finds them entertaining. If they're focusing on the rumours, they're not focusing on the important bits. Something that is not known about Ishmael is that he's heavily invested in politics. Whilst he may not be the front man in the spotlight, he can easily move the pieces around on the chessboard. NPC 2 Bella Norrell Bella is our bubbly half-elf barmaid. Her long blonde curly hair falls just below her bosom. Her young and kind face always welcomes travellers into the tavern. A natural people person, though a little naive. Her voice is sweet and gentle, and she also has a good memory for the locals. She can anticipate their needs, whether it be food or another drink. People will often come in just to have a chat. She stands in the classic medieval barmaid outfit, a long flowing skirt that ends just above the floor, a white tunic covered by a second corseted top. Bella has worked in the tavern for over a year now. Not many people know that she only has one leg. The other is a prosthetic that was made and gifted by Ishmael himself. So this has never stopped Bella from dancing around the tavern when live music is playing. Not a secret in the slightest, but she always loves the idea of travelling. Whilst she may never become a full-time adventurer, she likes the home comforts a little bit too much. But she loves listening to the stories that travellers speak of when they come and pass through. On a few occasions, Ishmael has taken her with him when visiting other towns and cities. She loves to tell the stories on her return about the sights and smells that she saw. 
NPC number three, Hannah Dodd. Hannah Dodd is in her early 40s and is the tavern's cook. She stands at exactly five feet tall with brown frizzy hair tied up in a bun to keep it off of her face. She will often have flour smudged on her cheeks from the early morning bread baking session, though no one will ever tell her. She is a no-nonsense person who likes to get things done and done fast. Those that work with her work for her. She runs a tight ship in that kitchen and everyone knows their place. She is rarely seen out of the kitchen and definitely not that far from an apron. She has been the cook at the Swinging Fluffy for longer than people can remember. She was even the cook before Ishmael took over. She doesn't suffer fools gladly and since the previous tavern's reputation, it's pretty understandable. Travellers might worry about the security guard, but it's Hannah that you need to watch out for. The one story that loves getting told is the one time a traveller made Bella cry. Well, Hannah found out about this and quickly came out of the kitchen, rolling pin in hand. They had a quiet conversation and soon after, the traveller was crying and profusely apologising to Bella. He even left a mighty big tip for the tavern. No one knows what exactly was said. Everyone has their own version. Some people say she threatened him with knives and others swear that they saw her use that rolling pin in a creative way. Anytime she's seen out of the kitchen now, the tavern goes deathly quiet. Hannah sees the tavern as her home and the people working there as her family. Mess with the tavern? you mess with her. Get her on your good side and you will have a mama bear for life. She may be small, yet she is mighty. NPC number four, Evan Henchman Henderson. Evan is a large green skinned half orc who stands at over six feet tall. His burly muscles and intimidating presence is a sight to behold. His gruff voice sounds like he chews rocks for breakfast. And whilst not always articulate, he's not stupid either. Why use 10 words when you can use two? His clothing isn't fancy. Why would he have silk suits when he's sat in the tavern looking out for trouble? His leather jerking and dark trousers are more than suitable. There are a number of old scars dotted across his body, and there always seems to be fresh bruising though there's never that many scraps inside the tavern. Even with his looks and daunting presence, Evan is one of the nicest people you will ever meet. He is loyal and caring, but he won't let anything go down in the tavern on his watch. Evan has worked at the Swinging Fluffy as the security guard for more than two years now. Prior to that, he was a hired bodyguard. This is where Ishmael found him and never let him go. He made an offer too good to refuse. Whilst not necessarily a secret, Evan takes part in arranged fights for cash. This is where he keeps his bruises up to date. What is a secret, however, is that most of his winnings go to the local orphanage. It turns out this orphanage is the one that raised him and taught him how to read and write. He will often spend time there looking after the kids and playing with them giving them a good role model. NPC number five, Mr. Mitt Oliver. Mr. Mitt Oliver is a five-year-old tabby cat. And in that time, he has spent lording over the tavern and occupants. It seems he turned up one day and just never left. He has been very handy when there have been rat or mice problems and he's become accustomed to being the favourite at the tavern. Don't let him fool you, those eyes can hold a lot of judgement. As if the patrons weren't having a bad enough day already. But those eyes can also hold a lot of comfort. Locals will know the tavern is his territory. If he decides to lay in the middle of the doorway, then that's his spot. People will need to move around him and not disturb him. It's funny. Any visitors who don't know the rules and try to move him will not only get a high dose of judgment and even maybe a swipe of his claws, but they will have to answer to the tavern patrons as well. 
It's like he's got everyone wrapped around his little tail. Even Hannah doesn't mind him that much. It's like they've got this weird peace treaty going on. He stays clear of the kitchen and doesn't make a mess, and she'll make sure that the fish and really good scraps are left out for him. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've already started to think about putting these characters in your own game. Let me know which NPC is your favourite in the comments below. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. And if you're not, hit subscribe so you know when our next video goes live. If you're feeling really fruity, you can also support us on Patreon, where you will get early access to all of our videos and even all of the maps that we create too. So until next time, may your dice be ever in your favour.